Okay, we are here in uh, downtown Honolulu, where uh, there's been a extension of the Financial Fridays uh, Occupy, Deoccupy Honolulu uh, encampment uh, since last night. They stayed the night. And we'll find out a little bit about what's going on here. I noticed the police just arrived. Says taxpayers gave 135 million and lost 61 million. What this means is that Central Pacific Bank, during the bank bailout, uh, got 135 million on a phone call from Danny Noe. They just sold back the stock at a 61 million dollar loss, which is uh, tragic. Would you consider? The mortgages of home on, homeowners that are getting foreclosed. So maybe we'll go talk to some of the people here. It's a pretty cool little logo. Yeah, so much for that. Victory! <laughs> well, while I'm here and while we're live, somebody want to tell me why you're here, what you're doing, what, and that sort of thing? Okay, so. 2009, um, a senator, Danny Noy, called up on behalf of Central Pacific Bank, called up the FDIC. The Central Pacific Financial Corporation. Yeah, okay, Central Pacific, which is the umbrella of this. This is this falls underneath that. Um, so Danny Noy, the senator of Hawaii, called up um, the FDIC on behalf of Central Pacific, saying um, that they should get a bailout, blah, 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 where is it? Now, they initially did not qualify for it, um, and this is an assumption, but through some string pulling that Dan could do, but he also helped fund the bank and at one time had a bulk of his money in the stocks in the stock here. So, um, I assume that he and others assume that he pulled some strings, even though he denies it. Of course he would. Um, so, when they went to go pay back everything that... Well, how much did they get? Oh, they got $135 million in their bailout okay. um, under the TARP program. Um, and then they had some bad loans and bad assets and whatnot. And uh, and they only were able to pay back um, $74 million. Okay. Um, they, I believe, were selling a few more assets, so that number might go up a little bit more. but. As of right now, they lost $61 million of the taxpayers' money that we will never see again. Just through bad paperwork. Through bad paperwork, through bad loans. And they, they give uh, home, home mortgage kind of loans, and they're involved in a bunch of foreclosures, I understand. Too. Yep. Um, I'm not entirely too sure, but that's kind of what I've been hearing. I have to go do a little bit more research, and maybe that's uh, the target for next Financial Friday. Now, there was also a question about uh, their, the compensation of their uh, executives at the same time that they're receiving and losing millions. They're um, also getting paid a lot. Any, any numbers? And um, I do have a couple numbers. I know that um, John C. Dean, which is the president and uh, the CEO of Central Pacific Bank, um, walked out with $870,000 in 2011. I know that... Um, Glenn L. Blackman walked out with fifty or no five hundred and seventy thousand dollars last year. Um, I know I'd have to look at the paperwork, but I mean, yeah, they they're walking out with nearly a million dollars each within one year. That's not including their bonuses. Um, uh, that's just compensation. Yeah, yeah that's just wow. their normal pay. Um, and it, the saddest thing is that's the low end of the industry. I mean, these guys are rich compared to us, right. yet, you know, they're they're losing all our money, and yet there's bigger banks losing way more money so than this So they're like low-status guys, yeah. low -lose. so there's, there's yeah. some banks that are losing a tremendous amount of money. And, and walking away with bonuses bigger than we could even imagine, you know? I mean, it's absolutely absurd that we are giving these money, the, the bailouts to these banks, and yet their CEOs are walking away with billions of dollars as a total sum, you know? As yeah. I mean, it's, it's millions on each one individually. So we are at Central Pacific Plaza, where there is currently a
pop-up encampment of the Occupy Honolulu. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining us.